Steve uh, Rich with Let's Go Warriors. A while back, you mentioned that uh, there were 12 players and staff members who got vaccinated. Um, has that number increased since then? Uh, I, I believe it has, Rich. Um, I know that uh, several coaches, uh, at least several, have uh, been vaccinated since that time as well as uh, staff members. Uh, at the time that was, uh, we were only allocated a certain number. We've actually had um, a lot of assistant coaches and, and personnel get shots on the road because it's been easier uh, to find a, a shot, uh, a vaccination on uh, in, in other cities besides our own. Uh, so yeah, we, we definitely have more people who have vaccinated since then. All right. All right. See you after the game. Thanks, Steve. Please name an affiliation. We got Juan up here. Well, Hi, Juan. Talk to you since that fall in Boston. Can you kind of take us through that play? What happened to you and and the, the, I guess the next few days after that, trying to recover from it. Hey, double R, am I allowed to talk about that? Uh, as, as much as you're comfortable with. Or uh, yeah, um, I didn't really talk about it too much, man. I'm not looking for a pity party. I'm not looking for people to feel sorry for me or anything, but um, it was a scary fall. Uh, I mean, obviously, I cracked my head open, got some stitches. Um, I watched the play over and over. Nobody really realized how dangerous that fall was because you can't see when I hit my head or where I hit my head. But um, I hit my head on the same thing that Steph hit his butt on, the same thing that Steph got hurt on. Um, and I'm, I mean, honestly, man, uh, in hindsight, like I'm lucky to be here. You know, that could have been much worse. So, uh, you know, Rich asked me a question that day. <clears throat> uh, Rich, if you're here, um, you know, he asked me where my joy and my appreciation for the game comes from. And it's from things like that. You know, I'll make that play 10 times out of 10, you know, in the heat of the moment, I want to win that game and that's a winning play. And so even though we lost, man, I'll still make that play, you know, because we were, we had a chance to win the game. And so, um, you know, I, I listened to Mark Jackson and uh, Rachel talk about how, you know, I'm on two way and bye bye to the G league. And my teammates were very happy that I made that play. You know, they, they trusted me. And so, you know, regardless of what shows up in the stat sheet, regardless of what my percentages are, you know, it's all—it's about your value on the team. It's about your presence on the team. And so I want my teammates to know that, you know, I, I'm going to die trying to win. That's what I want to do. That's what I play this game for. I play this game to win championships. Uh, and I don't mean literally, but, you know, if, man, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. And so I'll make that play 10 times out of 10, you know, and I'm just glad Steph hit the shot. Uh, our video people, uh, <clears throat> Shout out to Tom and Michelle. You know, they got that on video. And so that's something I'm going to save and put in the archive. I'm going to share that with my kids one day. Um, and I'm past it. That's where my appreciation comes from, though, man. I, I love this game. It's the best job in the world. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. If I had to end it all today, you know, I would be happy with where I'm at and what I've, ac what I've accomplished in my life. I'd be happy with, you know, the name I've made for myself thus far in the NBA and just amongst my peers. So, uh that's where I'm at with it. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. 